Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Maker Gaming, and yeah, this is our game. Don't know exactly where I'm coming in, but I know recently I finally ran my aluminum. So we now have an aluminum station that pulls all of our aluminum ingots from the Titan Forest, and it sends them to where we need them in the canyon. And I also started to build up this in one of the last episodes. And during editing one of those videos, I realized that this could be a really good bridge. And so off camera, I did a lot of work. Yeah, let me just cut him off before he shows it all off. And yeah, we'll get started. Thanks for watching. This is us going back in time a little ways, just setting up some lights, brighten this place up at night. I think I've decided for this um, factory, just we're running all power um, through the foundations. Just kind of make it as clean as possible. We'll just come up directly into each machine, light, etc. Alright, but yeah, we just get some lights going. Looks good. Looks a little more presentable at night. And we can move on to just freeform factory foundation base build something or other so fair warning this video might go a little slower than others but it's because i'm trying out kind of a whole new style where i don't have the factory i, I don't know what i want to build i just know i want to build to this terrain so first i want to map this terrain out and then we'll figure out what we can build on it this is always a good first step just to figure out the lower limit we're just zooping across and seeing what's covered. All right, that grass, that grass is infuriating. So I'm adding uh, 0.4 meters up to cover it. And then just after the zooping, we, we just need a buttload of chainsaw work. Just clear out the majority of these at least. And so now we're kind of getting to the borders of this level. And so we're just going to cut these shrubs because it's just much easier to see what, we got, what we're working with. We can use half foundations if we need. All right, now I'm just going to line up a new level at each of these natural borders, and we'll design up from there. If I didn't explain before, um, that's my aluminum factory down there. It's uh, a bunch of docks over that river doing all the different processes to get us our aluminum ingots. And we repeat that same process, but now we're going down, um, trying to stay within a foundation or two of the ground. Okay, so as I edit this, I realize there's like a full minute of me not talking over some of this building. And I still kind of want to show all of it because it's kind of the whole point of this episode was just making this terrain. Um, seeing what I could make out of this Titan Forest, hilly, you know, cliffy type area. And I, I like it. Um, but yeah, what do I talk about? I have a, I have a server right now. Come to my Discord. Um, all the info is there. Anybody can join. It's real fun to play in multiplayer. I haven't been there a whole lot the past couple of weeks. But man, the guys in there, they're good. They're actually making the last uh, space parts right now. And then once, we, once they finish that, really, uh, I'm sure we'll move into some sort of version 2 of the server. So yeah, come check it out. Um, they've got some impressive work in there. If anything, just come around. Just, uh, stop in to come and see some of their builds. Maybe I should do an episode on that. Alright. 
so I was editing my last video and I realized that this um, ramp that I had going up here would make a good bridge so offline I made it a bridge and I came over and I added a bunch of land where it made sense in the terrain and we'll use this for something some sort of manufacturing process uh, we might keep one or two of these trees um, but I want to get rid of all these stumps and to do that I need my chainsaw but my chainsaw ran out of biofuel so now I'm making some All right, give me a second. I'll take all these little things out. Also, something I need soon is a luminous solution. I think for, maybe for, hold on. For batteries, I think. And we need batteries for drones. I really want drones. This is an easy trick. Um, if you want to keep a tree, you get these inner circle inner corner extensions and now with nudge it's super easy so you just kind of delete what you need around it and you place it and then I don't really like that's not as centered as, as it could be so re-nudge replace and yeah uh, I've always liked how this looks you replace on the outside good to go do a bunch of uh, pointless chainsaw so yeah, maybe bauxite, aluminum solution if we're lucky, but to do that we would need plastic. Plastic, I believe we need oil. Unless there's some other way I'm thinking of. Oil's not too far away because we've got over here and the swamp, but let's see if there's anywhere even closer. Where was that? Where are those pings happening? I missed them. I have the resources off, don't I? Oh, the closest might actually be right there. Let's do that again. Should be some here, here, and here. Yep, those are closest. Okay, so by far the closest is that way, and that's not bad at all, actually. Let's bring oil over here to make plastic. That's not too bad. Yeah, it gives us something to do with this big area. Plastic for storing a luminous solution so we can send it on the train to make batteries somewhere. Alright, this is my attempt at putting in some sort of platforms for normal walking. <laughs> I'm so, I am just Mr. Jetpack. That is just my favorite mode of transportation by far in this game um, but yeah I should really have real forms of uh, traversal in a factory so I'll make it a point to start doing more of this kind of stuff is that excessive? yeah but you should have a jetpack on you it's your own fault All right, and then just, you know, keeping the theme of the build, we're just going to go across probably a lot of these areas, um, extra catwalks below, and they'll help if we ever need to do any sort of belting or anything through the open cavity we have. First goal of this area is to get a luminous solution um, bottled in plastic, so we need oil and we need bauxite here. Uh, we have caterium, iron, and limestone, and coal really close by. I believe copper's a little farther away, but I know it's, I, I know there's at least some in the Titan Forest. And so where we're at now is getting the first material up there, which would be bauxite. That's our old aluminum factory. So let's just go see where we got our bauxite from. 30 a minute that is poor okay that's all right 
What's this one looking like? With a nuclear hog. 30 also. Weak. Alright, it is what it is. It's the wrong kind of belts. nailing this though so yeah thanks for watching we're gonna get to work on this um factory probably all right so now we're up to 60 a minute that's still not great i believe there's one more miner over here that i'm not using on my main aluminum those are the two i just put up and these are the two i use i could have sworn there was a fifth but I guess not. So we have a normal and a pure. We could probably leech some off of one of those. But for now, that's what we have. And we should still gut this. This is our original aluminum checking out factory. I just got nailed by a rock. These guys are crafty. Alright, so let's get some get some work going. Let's build something. I think I'm going to like just seeing all those different platforms up there all right so that's where we got the bauxite to off camera there's all sorts of stuff I recorded but let's just start from here R to change the build mode we're just gonna drop it in the spider nest That was a little baby spider. Oh, how dumb. Whoa! Where's the big boy? Let's just avoid him. Alright, I think we successfully avoided the main spider. And we are bringing our materials up. All right, this is fun. How about we bring it in here? Hopefully this connects. That definitely looks like it connected. This is a good idea. What is our luminous solution? Bauxite and water. Damn it. Alright, so we need water and oil over here. Let's see, maybe in a blender? Nope. It's alright, we have water, right? We need 120 per minute per, so we'll probably just go one actually. We're only getting 30 per minute from each. We can go, actually we'll upgrade those. Yeah, we can upgrade those actually. Let's think of it like two for the moment.
That was a quick start, eh? I'm gonna bring water in. Actually, what am I talking about? We got a river right there. We're set. So to get to, we need 240 and 360. So let's work on the 240 first because right now it is not there. Do I have... Yes, I have power shards. We will be needing those. Let's follow the trail. Hope we don't run into too many spiders. Because we're definitely going to run into a new cog and a mountain hog. Should I just take them out with my candy cane? Are we going to be able to get a 240 out of... At the very least, we probably need Mark 2s, right? I don't think that's a, that's a Mark 1. That's our first mistake. Also, what is our belt? 270? Psh. This dumb idiot doesn't even see me. And I think he saw me now. I didn't mean it, you're not stupid. Alright, that got us up to 60. We need it to 120. Not sure where he went. There's a flying rock. Easy peasy. Good hit, buddy. Did worry me. Ooh. Alright. We got that up to 120. We got that up to 120. We did it. We did it, guys. We nailed it. Just keep this moving. Keep that belt. Um, keep that belt moving. Can we fit 360 right here? Optimally. They're bigger than you think. Is this a spider? There's so much out to kill us over here. Alright, let them hit me. Water extractor 2. Yes. Oh, there he is. He's stuck. How cute is that? Well. Fight to the death. I don't give you 0% though. Alright, I think he just lives there. 
That's just his home now. Now, is this a pure water source? Kidding. Terrifying. I just assumed I could get 360 out of these two. I guess now's the time to find that out. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Man, it's so it's so nice to have water this close. Sabotage. All right, I'm just gonna power these up and then delete all this extra foundations. I'll be right back. Nailing it. Hey guys, did you see that? We just got a luminous solution. Ah, uh, that power looks awful. Alright, that should get the water pumping. Um, I don't know about, what, 50 meters? I believe is the limit, which I think that's less. Find out right here. Guys, I think we just got a luminous solution, the fastest we've ever gotten anything in this game. And let's just pipe flow pipe hole these bad boys. Done and done, am I right? Oh. One small issue, get around these guys. Oh my goodness. I just jumped so bad. <laughs> That's why we don't turn off animals. I'm gonna die. It was worth it. It was worth it if you got scared. <laughs> I am just. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to go back to the recording. All right, and we got to keep the explosives down because we don't. Is he still in there? Jeez, what a hater! Just gonna hide here for a couple days. You know, I don't know if he's gone. Place is haunted, man. I'm going in. I'm not nervous, you're nervous. Man, just terrifying. <laughs> I'm just joking. I did jump hard though. <laughs> uh. You know what? Until we have plastic, there's no use to even run this because we can't sink fluids. But run it, we will anyway. I'm just excited to have a part done already. Oh, 
All right, I'm just doing a little update because I'm just I'm moving quicker than my recording goes. So we've got pure Katerium, pure iron. We don't really need this iron because we have the two up there. So I had them both hooked up, but they aren't anymore. Um, we do need to clear the belt though. But anyways, we just have this belt running underneath the bridge. Then it goes into our below ground, which we'll fix up a little bit, but nothing's clipping, which is good. Then we've got the Katerium coming over to here, and we've got it up for constructors right there. We just haven't hooked them all up. Uh, I took this old bridge out, and I just made these three leaning platforms at key spots. And yeah, I'm just routing everything underneath because most of this has a healthy um, area. It's just what you got to do to make a flat spot on rough terrain. So yeah, I'll hook these up and I'll probably do something else off camera again and then come and tell you about it again. Because that's how this works. You know, my videos don't have as much building them in it building in them anymore so maybe I'll just leave this in how to steal beams what an ass okay I won't leave it in let me go collect stuff and finish that up all right I hate to skip from one summary to another oh I gave all these guys TVs but I'm going to but before we finish off the episode, um, you get like a little quick peek at what we got going with the tower, because I don't know when we'll be back to it. So which way is the best view? Still got to fix this up. Let's see if we can get there from here. Yeah, it's looking all right. It's looking like something. And we'll make it most of the way there. Well, I accomplished it. I can see it from pretty far. Our world's getting fuller. Oh, can we land on the train? What a badass. What a badass. Alright, let's just finish up what we added since the last time I guess we have the awesome sink I had a problem where we weren't getting the full aluminum ingots coming in I went and solved that problem um, I added some I think the problem was silica and so I actually added some of the waste silica coming from the back end uh, the alumina solution byproduct is silica and we were just sinking that and now we actually have it being pushed to the front and being used to offset any time the truck doesn't deliver on time. So yeah, we have the good amount of aluminum coming in. We have aluminum solution set up. We have a spare bauxite coming out here. Once we finalize numbers, we can use more if we need it. And then yeah, we got the Katerium actually running. We have a full quick wire set up and a full ingots. They're both just being stored. Um, and that one's stored to right there. Everything's already full. And then finally, I was just using this as like an R&D area. So I had each of the machines so I could look up what we're going to build. And I believe what we're going to build is batteries here. So all we need is sulfuric acid, alumina solution, alumina casings. So we'll be getting our alumina solution from here. We will be getting our aluminum casings from right there. We'll bring those in right here and do some constructors. Aluminum casings there, and that just leaves sulfuric acid. Now, what was sulfuric acid? I know it was sulfur. There was one other ingredient, I think. Sulfur and water. That's so easy. So yeah, batteries actually are really easy. So this is going to be a battery factory next time we come through. Um, I don't know if we'll get to that next or continuing the tower to what we just looked at um, to its kind of currently final form. 
But yeah, we have sulfur down here because actually off site we, we had to, for another project, we had to unlock cluster grenades. So we set up sulfur right here. We had this temporary thing going. So yeah, batteries to come. Let me get back over there. How's there another train already? So yeah, if you made it this far, way to go. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. That damn spider. Still haven't seen him. He's probably right down here. Unglitched. He's good. Good thing I put all those guide rails up. So yeah, we'll leave him there for another day.